Hello, it's Jimmy Herd O'Reilly's. I'm looking at an Audi A6 here again. It's a 2 litre TDI Ultra. Um, now, I've put the same video of this up recently, but I uh, just wanted to make some corrections on the last video I've done. Uh, probably, I wasn't really thinking straight last time, so when I pull off this pipe, I'll show you here. Inlet pipe. Um, I had a look down here, and you could see there's an inlet tube there that's got sort of looks like EGR gases sort on it. And the EGR cooler on these is the problem that gets blocked up here. This has got a P200-200 code. And I was just, I straight away thought, oh, that's that's the EGR inlet pipe coming back. But, yeah, I clearly wasn't really thinking straight because the EGR cooler isn't going to come back in before the turbo. See, that's going straight back into the turbo pipe. What that actually is, is this pipe. Yeah, it comes back off the breather of the crankcase. Um, so I'm not really sure where the EGR cooler sends the sends it back into the engine. I'm trying to have a look around for it, but I can't really see where the actual hose is. I would like to know where it is. Anyway, I've taken off these plastic clips here, and we can remove this front piece of plastic here. Just in here, we've got a couple of T25 torques. You can take out this plastic here, you can see where the screws come in around the back there. So you've got one screw on each side there. Using a size 5 hex, and I'm going to open up the add blue injector. Okay, we've got the add blue injector out, now we've got this port open. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm using two bottles of launch DPF cleaner and I've mixed these down 50% with water, so that has allowed me to make four bottles out of two. So I'm going to put two bottles uh, into the DPF. So I've got a funnel on there, we're just going to pour this in. And the second one. And we're going to put a third bottle in this one. And we'll save the last bottle to be sprayed in through the dif differential pressure holes. So we're just going to let these three bottles soak in there for... 20 minutes or so. Then in the meantime here we're going to turn off the engine management light. So using the launch Euro Tab 3 scan tool here, going to go to special function, diesel engine special functions, DPF matching, do a login, and then particle filter replaced, particle sensor adaption. That's finished correctly. Now that will allow us to delete the P200-200 code. We've already deleted that just off camera there. So just showing you that process what I've done there basically. So if you go in here now. And we read the code. The code is gone. So obviously you have to press clear the code over here. So we've already done that. So now the code is cleared. That's been reset. Now we've got this off the AdBlue injector. We'll use a bit of brake cleaner just to clean it up a little bit. So while we're letting that soak in, we're just going to put everything back together here. Okay, now that's all back together there. We're going to come over to the DPF differential pressure sensor here. I'm just going to open that little bolt there as a T30. And now we've taken the bolt out of that, we've just disconnected the sensor from the holes right here. Now we've got our last bottle of fluid here. Just going to fill up this bottle here for the gun. Ok, 
Okay, now we've got that connected up to the compressor there in the van. So what we're going to do is, we're not going to put that in straight away. I'm just going to temporarily just put that back together there just a little bit. It's not really pushed in, just have it sitting there in place. Now we're going to start the vehicle, let it run for a few minutes. Once this fluid that's in there is burnt out, then we're going to go in with the uh, compressed air gun into the DPF pressure hose. Now what you can do is disconnect the airflow meter. Uh, that'll stop the EGR cooler from opening up and circulating the fluid back through the intake. Of course once you do that you'll get a flashing symbol there so you will need a code scanner to get that reset. Okay so let's recycle the ignition. Start the engine up. We'll just let it idle there for a few minutes. And you should see the uh, fluid making its way out. Okay, now we're gonna switch the engine back off. We're gonna connect back up the airflow meter. Get that connected back up. We might have to delete the codes for that again. Okay, so we've cleared the code for the airflow meter. Now we should be able to start the car back up and the code, or sorry, the flashing light there should be gone. We'll just cycle ignition again just to make sure. We'll just hold the revs up. We'll hold them there for a few minutes until the uh, smoke starts dying down. I'm going to use this laser pedal depressor here just to hold the revs up for me. Just wait until that smoke dies down now. Okay, now we've got the DPF gun ready. We're going to open back up the uh, pressure hose there and get it connected. That's some five second bursts every uh, 15 seconds. Okay, now that's all been put back together. I'm gonna remove the uh, pedal depressor there. Okay, so we now need to get down this calculated soot here so we're going to see if we can either reset that if we can't reset it then we may have to do a driving regeneration okay so you can see it allows me to reset the particle filter via the pressure sensor but telling it it's had a new DPF uh, it doesn't work so we're going to have to try something else Okay, so we're going to try and set off a driving regeneration because we have no other way of getting these calculate these uh, measures here down. Six fifty four, and we have fourteen grams in that one. Okay, so I've chosen to do a driving or a dynamic regen, but it's for some reason it just uh, it's just carried on doing uh, a static one. So we're going to let that run for maybe half an hour until it's finished. Um, like I said, you see on some of these videos, um, some of these cars I can just press the reset button and reset all of these values, but uh, on, on some models, seem to differ to others, you just can't do it, it doesn't allow you to do it. So, we have to take a different route to get the same result. Okay, so that's come down to 5 grams, I think that's about as low as it's going to get. Okay, so that's it, we have the soot down to 5 grams. Uh, Pressure is 5 millibar in the DPF. So we'll come back from there. Just confirm that there's no fault codes.
that should be it okay that's it we're all finished on this one and we will see you on another video